सिंपल पेंडुलम In 1581 the Italian astronomer and physicist Galileo made a significant discovery while he was attending a service in a cathedral in Pisa he observed the swinging of the lamp and timed it against his pulse rate he found that the time taken for one to and fro movement or one oscillation was the same whether the arc of a swing was small or large the word pendulum is derived from the latin word pendulum meaning hanging a simple pendulum is a small heavy non-magnetic object the bob suspended by a light inextensible string one oscillation is the complete to and fro motion of the pendulum starting from the initial position to the final position and back to the initial position length of the pendulum l is the distance between the point of suspension and the center of gravity of the bob time period of the pendulum t is the time taken for one complete oscillation of the pendulum mean position is the position of the pendulum when it is at rest extreme position is the position of the bob when it is at the maximum distance from the mean position amplitude is the maximum displacement of the bob from its mean position it is the distance between the mean position and one of the extreme positions of the bob frequency of oscillation is the number of oscillations made by the pendulum in 1 second it is denoted by n f or nu the unit of frequency is the hertz hz frequency is the reciprocal of time period frequency n is equal to 1 upon time period t therefore time period t is equal to 1 upon frequency n did you know an inverted pendulum is a pendulum which has its center of mass above its pivot point arguably the most prevalent example of an inverted pendulum is a human being the time period of oscillation of a simple pendulum is directly proportional to the square root of its length time period is inversely proportional to the square root of acceleration due to gravity at the place from the above we can write time period is directly proportional to the square root of the length of pendulum by acceleration due to gravity or time period is equal to constant square root of length of pendulum by acceleration due to gravity the value of the constant has been found to be 2 pi therefore time period is equal to 2 pi square root of length of pendulum by acceleration due to gravity a pendulum whose time period is 2 seconds is known as a second pendulum the value of acceleration due to gravity g changes from place to place so the value of the length of the second pendulum also varies from place to place it is 0.9909 meter 99.09 cm at the equator and 0.9962 meter 99.62 cm at the north pole in chennai the length is 99.1 cm and in kolkata it is 99.2 cm simple pendulum was discovered by physicist galileo 
the distance between the point of suspension and the center of gravity of the bob is called length of the pendulum. The time taken for one complete oscillation of the pendulum is called the time period of the pendulum. The position of the pendulum when it is at rest is called the mean position. The positions of the bob when it is at the maximum distance from the mean position are called the extreme positions. Amplitude is the maximum displacement of the bob from its mean position. Frequency of oscillation is the number of oscillations made by the pendulum in one second.